Um, but my favourite video game that's sort of a great place to sort of morally try things out um, is The Sims. Um, give me a cheer if you've ever played The Sims. Yes. If you haven't played The Sims, The Sims was meant to be a lovely game. <laughs> it was meant to be this lovely game where you would create human beings, you would look after them, you would pick their desires and their hopes and their dreams, and then you would look after them, you would feed them, send them to loo, send them to bed on time, help them lead fulfilled, happy lives. At least that's what the developers intended. <laughs> we played it a little bit differently. Um, our games usually looked a little bit more like this. <laughs> Just everything on fire. Um, it was meant to be a god game, um, but it didn't make me believe in god, it made me believe in the devil. <laughs> um, uh, give me a cheer if you ever did anything mean to one of your sims. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you went, I'm like, definitely. Um, uh, what was the worst thing you ever did to one of your sims? Uh, I, um, I, I, I basically created a basement and put canvases in it. With paint, with paint, yes. and locked it in the basement forever. <laughs> just just, just, just generating canvases and paint. You would have just paint, and then it was no, it, it died. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Weirdly, we do get that every day. <laughs> it seems to be a common thing. People would love to have these slaves in a basement, just making paintings, or occasionally writing books. Is the other one. Uh, does anyone else do anything? Uh, who thinks they did the meanest thing to one of their Sims? Can anyone top that? There we go. So you know how it has like a wash, or like cleanliness bar? Yes. I had a guy who had no cleanliness and then created a labyrinth of showers which couldn't open. I think I saw a hand down here. What, what did you do? Um. We created one adult and then like I think it was five babies and just he was so crappy couldn't keep up with all the babies, there was shit everywhere and everywhere and getting rid of their sex. And then he got really attached to them, but then child services came and took them all away. <laughs> See that's double evil because you made him care. <laughs> We had, oh, I had a similar one to that, which was um, about sort of when you set up someone, uh, like there was someone who made a really OCD clean freak uh, sort of sim, and then just put loads of dirty dishes everywhere until they went mad. <laughs> and I think that's totally evil, because you made them like that! You gave them that floor! Um, but my favourite one was we had um, a guy who wanted to make a church in The Sims. That seems quite nice, making a church. But the thing is, churches have graveyards. And you can't buy gravestones in The Sims. You have to earn them. <laughs> Through death. <laughs> so he would just ship in families and just murder them all. And just put their gravestones in the graveyard. Ship more people in. Every family coming, mm, interesting graveyard. All the years of death are the same. <laughs> interesting. Um, and then eventually he moved a priest in and the priest went totally mad because there were so many ghosts. <laughs> it's a nice when the story has a happy ending. Um,